a single a single shadow from Catrice. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's a pimple. This is the third time I'm going to film this video. The first time I couldn't explain it right, so it made sense. And the third time my camera was too high. So I hope this is better. <laughs> this is a Panda palette Rewam. And I did something I have never done before. I made a new entire palette out of the shadows I was working on for this challenge. And it looks like this, the single shadow from Catrice. This I am panning in another challenge, so I'm kind of using it up anyway. This is just a shadow I haven't dug into or anything. So I have six new shades here and I'm pretty excited about this. So I will try to explain to you what I have done so it makes sense because I'm not very good at explaining this, I realized. These two I have not mixed in with other shadows from another palette. Because this is the palette I have dug into to mix with my shadows. It is the W7 in the buff natural nudes palette. And if you don't know, it looks like this. Very much alike the Naked 2 palette. I have dug into... This one, sand, earth, storm, and silk. So these four shades I have mixed in with other shadows. <laughs> this is kind of what my palette looks like at the moment. Um, so these six shadows here was originally in this palette before I switched around. The eight shadows I have dug into is this one. And this one created this shadow here in the middle. These two purples mixed in to that pan right here. So when I have finished these two pans, I will consider four of these four shadows done. Then I can justify that I have hit pan on those four shades. I hope that makes sense. This green shade, I believe I mixed into this one, which is Earth. And it made this very pretty olive shade down here. This pink shade down here I mixed in to this one which is sand. And it made this very pretty baby pink kind of color that I really hope I can use as a highlight or an inner corner or an all over lid shade or something like that. Then I have this purple right here which was a lot darker so I mixed it in with this one which is silk and it made this weird shade I think uh, up here. So it is uh, not that dark anymore but I didn't mix it that well but I hopefully it will be okay. <laughs> and then the last shade which is this silver shade down here I mixed in with this green kind of shade which is storm and that made it just a bit darker and more greenish so hopefully this palette works well for me now and i will be much more motivated to use it so i hope what i did made sense to you guys i'm pretty sure i explained it much better now than the last two times I tried. So this is going back into my collection and is going to stay there until I have finished this palette. So in the future you will see this palette and not this one. Of course I'm still trying to use this in combination with this one to help me pan these shadows and hopefully that will work out. I know that they are very cool toned shadows now and this is much more warmer. If you have an idea how I can use this copper shade or bronze shade with the other colors, please let me know. I'm open for ideas, really, I'm really am. I have not given up, don't worry guys, but if this doesn't work out, I might give up. I didn't have anything to lose when I did this, so I don't know what to do if this doesn't work out. Overall, I hope you will root for me because I really, really hope this works out. Again, I haven't done this before, so I really hope it works. 
I hope you will follow my social media, you will get a more insight in my world and not just project panning. Okay? And not just project panning, so yeah, that is basically on Instagram if you want to follow me there. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will stick around and I hope you are doing well until my next video. Bye guys!